When you think about traveling, Europe is something that pops up in everyone's mind. But some cities here even have a 50% crime rate. Which ones? Stay tuned to find out. Athens. When it comes to exploring Europe, Athens might not be the first city that pops into your mind when you think of danger. In fact, it's generally a pretty safe place for tourists. However, like any big city, it has its challenges. Well, Athens isn't a war zone, but it's not immune to the occasional pickpocketing and petty crime. You're strolling through the ancient streets, marveling at the Acropolis, and suddenly, poof, your wallet's gone. That's the kind of surprise you want to avoid. Keep an eagle eye on your belongings, especially in crowded places. Now, here's where it gets a bit tricky. Scammers. They're everywhere, and they love tourists. Athens, being a tourist magnet, is no exception. So, if someone approaches you near the Acropolis, Plaka, or any tourist hotspot with an offer that seems too good to be true, it probably is. Keep your guard up, and remember that if it smells fishy, it probably is a fish market scam. Oh, and let's talk about taxis. Fake taxis are like chameleons here. They blend in with the real deal. It's wise to book a taxi from a reputable service or go for the good old Uber or another ride-sharing app. That way, you'll avoid an unexpected detour through the city's shady alleys. When the sun goes down and the moon takes over, keep those wits about you. Athens, like many places, has its less savory characters that come out at night. Stick to well-lit areas and be extra cautious if you're walking alone. Trust your instincts and if something feels off, it probably is. Athens has a habit of hosting demonstrations, which can sometimes turn ugly. Think of it like the city's version of a heated sports rivalry. Things can get out of hand. Your best bet is to steer clear of these situations, unless you're into street politics, in which case, well, don't say we didn't warn you, Milan. The fashion capital of the world and a treasure trove of culture, but like any great city, it's not without its safety concerns. So let's chat about how to navigate Milan while keeping your belongings and sanity intact. Milan has a bit of a reputation for pickpocketing, especially on public transport. Milan might be chic, but there are some not so chic folks out to make a quick buck off of tourists. If someone approaches you with a too good to be true deal or a sob story that seems a bit too rehearsed, Trust your instincts and tread carefully. Always verify who you're dealing with before handing over money or personal information. Milan's full of genuine people, but a little skepticism can go a long way. Certain areas like Loreto, Central Station, and Porto de Mar don't exactly have the best reputation for tourist safety at night. It's not that they're totally off limits, but it's wise to exercise caution if you find yourself wandering through these neighborhoods after dark. Stick to well-lit, busy areas and consider using reputable transportation or ride-sharing services to get around safely. The Milanese are known for their friendly demeanor, but be cautious when someone offers you unsolicited help. It's sad but true that one of these seemingly helpful gestures can turn into demands for money. Trustworthy assistance is one thing, but if your gut says something's fishy, it probably is. Watch out for pickpockets, stay sharp against scams, and exercise caution in certain neighborhoods after dark. With a dash of awareness and a sprinkle of skepticism, your trip to Milan will be as stylish and safe as it gets. Enjoy the fashion, food, and culture, and remember, you've got this. Glasgow. While it's true that Glasgow has had its moments of notoriety, it's essential to understand what's what to make your visit as enjoyable as possible. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, the reputation for crime and violence. Yes, Glasgow has had its fair share of incidents, often fueled by alcohol-fueled rowdiness. You might hear some colorful stories, but remember that most of the time, these incidents don't involve tourists. To stay safe, it's a good idea to keep your wits about you, especially when you're in the city's nightlife areas. During the day, you'll likely notice a strong police presence in Glasgow. It's not because they expect trouble from tourists, but more as a general precaution and in case of rare incidents like terrorist attacks. So don't be alarmed by the sight of officers patrolling the streets. Speaking of nightlife, Glasgow's pubs can be a blast, but there's a golden rule. Stick to areas with plenty of people around, especially if you're going out at night. Like many cities, it's always safer to enjoy a pint in a crowded and well-lit spot rather than venturing off alone into quieter areas. Now here's a tip that's particularly sensitive in Glasgow. Avoid wearing football colors, whether they're local or international. Football, or soccer, is more than a sport here. It's practically a religion. 
Wearing the wrong team's colors can lead to trouble, and some pubs won't even allow it. So it's best to leave your football allegiances at home and enjoy the atmosphere without getting caught up in the rivalries. Bradford. A city with a rich history and a vibrant community does have its fair share of challenges when it comes to safety. While it's true that it has been associated with a high crime index, it's essential to approach this reputation with a bit of nuance. Let's get the facts straight. Bradford has seen its share of violent incidents, harassment, and theft, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a no-go zone. It's crucial to recognize that the Bradford police doesn't necessarily agree with the city's notorious reputation as the most dangerous in Europe. That said, a general rule of thumb applies anywhere. Stay aware of your surroundings and keep your valuables out of sight, especially in public places and vehicles. This is just common sense advice that applies worldwide. When it comes to venturing out at night, it's wise to avoid the less savory areas of the city. While every place has its good and not so good neighborhoods, it's particularly important in Bradford to be cautious during nighttime. Stick to well-lit and busier areas to minimize any potential risks. Minsk. The capital of Belarus may have a high crime index on paper, but it's also known for having one of the most stringent zero tolerance policies against crime in Europe. So while it may seem like a paradox, it actually makes Minsk one of the safer cities on the continent. That said, it's always a good idea to stay aware of your surroundings, no matter where you are. Reports of pickpocketing and mugging have surfaced, so don't let your guard down. Keep your valuables secure, especially in crowded places or public transportation. One significant concern in Minsk, however, isn't related to crime, but rather to the local driving culture. Belarusian drivers are known for their reckless behavior on the road, often ignoring traffic laws and speeding with abandon. So exercise extreme caution when crossing streets and navigating the traffic. Pedestrian safety should be a top priority. Here's an important tip for you. Belarus has strict regulations about photographing state buildings. It's against the law and can get you into trouble with the authorities. So while you're staying safe in Minsk, remember to respect local laws and customs, even if they might seem a bit unusual. Christian Send. Despite its somewhat ominous sounding name, it is a generally safe place in the context of Norway's reputation for safety. While it's true that the city faces some issues like drug-related problems and petty theft, violent crime is rare. So you can breathe a sigh of relief but it's still essential to keep a few things in mind for a smooth and secure visit. Norway safety doesn't mean you can let your guard down entirely. Always be aware of your surroundings just as you would in any city. Keep your valuables close and secure to deter opportunistic thieves. In Christiansund, one of the primary concerns you might encounter is individuals struggling with addiction or homelessness, particularly in certain areas of the city. While their presence can be disconcerting, it's often best to avoid these areas known for drug dealing and loitering, especially after dark. Stick to the well-lit and busier parts of town when exploring at night. Here's a golden rule for travelers anywhere. Trust your gut. If something or someone seems suspicious or makes you uncomfortable, don't hesitate to change your path or find a more public area. Your safety and peace of mind are paramount. And that's all for today. While you plan your trip to Europe, make sure that you have your security protocol sorted. But don't worry, it isn't a war zone either. Keep your balance, be happy, but never let your guard down.